Welcome to Statistics Made Simple. I am Savita Valsang. In this video, I'll find solutions to problems based on Model 1 in Inventory Theory, which is an important phi marker. The two categories of inventory models are deterministic models and probabilistic models. In the deterministic model, the demand is uniform, whereas in the probabilistic model, the demand is a random variable. The basic differences between model 1 and model 2 are, in model 1, there is uniform demand, then instantaneous production, and shortages are not allowed, and the lead time is zero. In model 2, again, there is uniform demand, instantaneous production, but shortages are allowed and lead time is zero. So it's important to differentiate between model 1 and model 2. In this slide, I explain the different terms in model 1 and the formulae which are associated with each one of them. So first we have EOQ that is economic order quantity or the economic lot size which is denoted by q to the power 0 which is equal to root of 2 c3 r divided by c1 then we have the reorder time which is denoted by t to the power 0 is equal to q to the power 0 divided by r the frequency of replenishment is denoted by n to the power 0 which is equal to 1 divided by t to the power 0 the minimum average cost is denoted by C into Q to the power 0 which is equal to root of 2 C1 C3 into R. The maximum inventory level is nothing but Q to the power 0 and maximum shortage level in model 1 does not exist. Now all these formulae can be remembered well by practicing them by writing it several times. And most important is to identify the terms which are given in the problem. Problem 1. Maruti Udyo Company purchases 10,000 rare mirrors per car annually. Each mirror costs Rs. 18. The ordering cost per order is Rs. 12 and the annual inventory carrying cost is 12% of the capital cost. Compute EOQ and the minimum average inventory cost. Starting with the solution, you observe that there is no shortage cost given in the problem. So it is model 1 uh, without shortages. So let us identify the terms which are given in the question. So given R is equal to 10,000. Then the purchase cost is given that is P is equal to 18. The ordering cost per order is rupees 12. That means C3 is equal to 12. And the annual inventory carrying cost is 12% of the capital cost. So here I have highlighted with an arrow in purple color. The annual inventory cost is 12% of the capital cost. So that is denoted by capital I which is equal to 12% which you convert it into decimals that is 0.12. Now find out C1 which is nothing but P into I. So whenever the annual inventory carrying cost is given, C1 is calculated using the formula P into I. Don't forget this. So it is nothing but 18 into 0.12 which is equal to 2.16. So let us start with the EOQ. So EOQ formula is Q to the power 0 is equal to root of 2C3R divided by C1, which is equal to root of 2 into 12 into 10,000 divided by 2.16, which simplifies to 333.33. Rounding it off, Q to the power 0 is equal to 333 units. Next, we find the minimum average inventory cost. So, the formula is C into Q to the power 0 is equal to root of 2C1C3R. 
substituting we get root of 2 into 2.16 into 12 into 10,000 so which simplifies to rupees 720 so here writing the units of measurement for each of the calculations is important Problem 2. A manufacturer has to supply 12,000 units of a product per year to a customer. The inventory holding cost is rupees 0.20 per unit per month and the setup cost per run is rupees 350. Determine the optimum lot size, the reorder time, frequency of replenishment and minimum average cost. So this particular problem will cover all the different types of calculations in model 1. Starting with the solution, this is model 1 without shortages. So given R is equal to 12,000 units per year. Next they have given C3 that is the setup cost that is rupees 350. Whereas C1 that is the inventory holding cost is given in terms of rupees per month so we have to calculate c1 as rupees 0 0.20 into 12 and convert it to years that is rupees 2.4 per unit per year in this problem since the demand is given in terms of units per year whereas c1 is given in terms of rupees per month so we convert it into years. So please check the problem accordingly and make the conversions. Starting with the optimum lot size, the formula is q to the power 0 is equal to root 2 C3R divided by C1 which is root of 2 into 350 into 12,000 divided by 2.4 which is 1870.82 or q to the power 0 after rounding off to a whole number is 1871 units next we will calculate the reorder time that is t to the power 0 is equal to q to the power 0 divided by r which is 1871 divided by 12000 which gives us 0 0.155 next we have n to the power 0 which is 1 by t to the power 0 which is 1 divided by 0 0.155 or n to the power 0 is 6.4516 orders. Next is c into q to the power 0 that is root of 2c1c3r which is root of 2 into 2.4 into 350 into 12,000 which gives us rupees 4489.99. Problem 3. The annual demand for an item is 3000 units. Capital cost is rupees 7 per unit. Inventory carrying cost is 20% of the capital cost per annum. If setup cost is rupees 50, determine EOQ, number of orders per year, and the optimal cost. So, as the shortages are not given, model 1 will be making use of that is, no shortages given. R is equal to 3000 units per year, P is equal to 7 per unit per year and I that is the inventory carrying cost is 20% that is 0 0.2 and the setup cost C3 is 150 so C1 will be equal to P into I which is equal to 7 into 0 0.2 which is equal to 1.4. Let's start with EOQ. Consider q to the power 0 is equal to root of 2 C3R divided by C1 which is root of 2 into 150 into 3000 divided by 1.4 which is equal to 801.72 or q to the power 0 is equal to 802 units. We will now calculate the reorder time that is t to the power 0 is equal to q to the power 0 divided by r which is 802 divided by 3000 which is 0 0.2672. Next we will calculate the frequency of replenishment that is n to the power 0 which is equal to 1 by t to the power 0 
that is 1 divided by 0 0.2672 so we get n to the power 0 as 3.7425 orders next we will calculate c into q to the power 0 which is root of 2c1c3r which will give us the optimal cost which is equal to root of 2 into 1.4 into 150 into 3000 so we get c into q to the power 0 is equal to rupees 1122.49 problem 4 there is a demand for 10,000 items per year the replenishment cost is rupees 200 and the maintenance cost is rupees 10 per item per year replenishment is instantaneous and shortages are not allowed find the optimal lot size the optimum time between orders the optimum number of orders and the optimal annual cost so solution will be model 1 without shortages so given r is equal to 10,000 units per year then c3 is equal to rupees 200 and c1 is equal to rupees 10 per unit per year observe that everything in this problem is given in terms of year so let us first find out the optimal lot size that is q to the power 0 is equal to root of 2 c3r divided by c1 substituting we get root of 2 into 200 into 10,000 divided by 2.4 which is 632.46 or q to the power 0 after rounding off is 632 units Next calculate the optimum time between orders which is t to the power 0 is equal to q to the power 0 divided by r which is 632 divided by 10,000. Optimum number of orders is given by n to the power 0 is equal to 1 by t to the power 0 which is 1 divided by 0 0.0632 or n to the power 0 is equal to 15.82 orders. Last we will calculate the optimum annual cost which is given by c into q to the power 0 is equal to root of 2 c1 c3 r which is equal to root of 2 into 10 into 20 into 10,000 which gives us rupees 6324.56 problems based on inventory theory model 1 are important from the examination point of view Practice the notations and learn the formulae thoroughly. Thank you all for watching and look out for my next video on solutions to inventory problems based on model 2.